Okay. Good morning, Lily. Uh, thanks for joining us at this Federal Careers Webinar. Can you give us a few words about your background relevant to this topic? Yes, hello, good morning. Thank you for having me. So I'm the author of How to Land a Top Paying Federal Job. And my book is based on my many years of experience as a science writer at science-based organizations, including the National Science Foundation and the US Forest Service. I've also served as a hiring manager in those agencies. So uh, my advice is time-tested advice. Um, I also have a master's degree in public health and a master's degree in environmental management from Yale University. Great, thank you. And tell us a little bit about how federal careers differ from academic or industry careers. Okay, so the overarching difference between private sector organizations and public sector organizations is that the number one goal of private organizations is usually profit. By contrast, in public organizations, including the government, the number one overarching goal is usually advancing the public good in some way. And those differences really flavor everything about these different types of organizations. Another important distinction is that when you work for the federal government, you are dealing with vast and incom incomparable resources. Um, for example, the federal government owns 30% of the of United States land, almost 30%, and there's lots of ecologists researching how to protect those lands. Um, there's only one NASA, which also conducts lots of scientific research on ecology, and there's only one McMurdo research station in Antarctica. Those are just a few of the extraordinary resources that federal employees impact when they work. In terms of quality of life, the salaries, the benefits, and the work-life benefit for federal employees is excellent, and in many cases, such as pensions, incomparable. Um, so to back that up, I'll say that there was a recent article in Nature that, that showed that PhD ecologists have salaries that are significantly higher in government than in other sectors. And also there was a recent study that showed that postdocs in, at EPA and NIH work among the very best places to work in the country. So those are just few of the things that uh, make federal jobs um, enviable. Thanks, Lily. Uh, what kinds of federal career opportunities are available for newly minted science grads? So it's important to know that um, federal scientists do almost everything and sometimes more than scientists in other sectors. They, for example, um, conduct research and often without having to scramble for the grants that academic researchers have to fight for. Um, they manage national research pr uh, programs and coordinate them. Um, they advise on policy, they advise Congress, they advise agency leaders, they help write laws and regulations. And they also lead and direct science-based organizations and they're on every rung throughout the whole ecosystem of an organization, everything from IT to HR to budget scientists work on. Um, so uh, some of the ways that new graduates uh, and stu current students contribute to these kinds of activities are through sub summer in internships, fellowships and, uh, and internships year round that are special recruitment programs that have special training and rotational opportunities and just regular full-time jobs for that they can apply to as well. So there's various different avenues and um, some of the big science-based organizations, um, I think almost every agency hires scientists, but some of the big ones are EPA, um, the Department of Interior, the Department of Agriculture, NOAA, NASA, and NIH. And believe it or not, DOD is one of the biggest empl employers of scientists as well. Um, and what are some of the best places to find federal openings? So uh, here's where you might want to get out a pen, because I'll give you some tips on where to look. Number one, USA job usajobs.gov is the number one clearinghouse for federal jobs. It's updated all day, every day, and it has opportunities 
for scientists and others of all stripes and all levels all across the country. But it doesn't have everything. For example, I mentioned some of the internships and fellowship programs for students and recent graduates. One of the best ones is the Presidential Management Fellowship Program. It's for recent grads, um, including PhDs and college grads. Um, and it has, it basically vaults young professionals into management positions. They only hire once a year in, um, in September. So check out that page and mark your calendar. Um, here's a, also a five alarm tip, very important. O-RISE, O-R-I-S-E, O-R-I-S-E. O-RISE places scientists of all levels and stripes in government agencies and labs and research centers all across the country. I've, I've supervised O-RISERs, I've worked with them. It's a very active program. Also, there are federal R&D centers all across the country that do their own hiring that don't post on USA Jobs. But there is a hyperlinked list of them on the National Science Foundation's website. So Google for that and check out those R&D centers that do the kinds of research that you're interested in. And if you're interested in pivoting into policy, one of the best ways to do that is through the AAAS Fellowship. They place PhD scientists in federal agencies and Congress for one or two years in communications and policy positions. Um, and it's a, a great stepping stone. I've also worked with, with a lot of AAAS fellows. They love that program. And if you are interested in going global, uh, the agencies in the Foreign Service also hire many scientists as well. So Google the Foreign Service as well. Great. Thank you. Um, USA Jobs can be a little daunting for folks. Can you tell us a little more about the review process? Well, I'm glad you asked about that because USA Jobs does have a reputation for being clumsy, clunky, and hard to use. However, it has been streamlined and cleaned up in the last few years, and it is much more user-friendly than it used to be. It is very serviceable and very useful now. Um, it's important to know that federal jobs are hired through a standardized merit-based procedure. And this procedure is aimed at creating a fair level playing field for applicants and finding the applicants whose credentials, as stated on their application, so that's important, the applicants whose credentials best match the opening. So the federal government is not the land of the NEPO baby. Um, a, a director can't just bring their kid on. Everybody goes through the same standardized procedure. Um, we don't have time to get into that procedure right now, but just know that every application is reviewed. I'll repeat that. Every application is reviewed. I know this because I've been, I lived in the system for over 25 years. I applied for those jobs. Jobs, and I hired for those jobs, and I worked with hundreds of people who also did the same hiring. So this system does exist. Your application does not go into a black void. Um, here is a tip if, if you want to know where your application is in the process. Um, so on every job announcement that you apply for, whether it's government or not government, keep the announcement, because if you have an interview, you'll want to read that announcement. You might forget what the job was about by the time you're interviewed. And on federal applications, every announcement has a contact person, an HR person, and part of their job is to advise applicants. So you're not bothering them. You're not pestering them if you call them. And if you don't know where your application is in the process, and it's been more than a few weeks, call them and find out. So that's a way to cut through some of the, the um, unknowns in the application process. Terrific, thank you. Um, so if you are uh, lucky enough to get an interview, can you say a few words about good interview strategy in the federal government? And this is for federal government and non-federal government. I have three basic words, prepare, prepare, and prepare. Um, people get nervous before interviews, but really it's an open book test <laughs> because you almost know what questions they're going to ask. 
things like, tell me about yourself, what are your strengths? If you do a Google search for common interview questions, I can almost guarantee you will be asked many of those questions. So before an interview, prepare answers that show how your credentials match and parallel the, the requirements for the job identified on the opening. And show how your personality uh, matches the culture of the organization too. Research the organization, show that you know about it. Everybody likes to be liked. Organizations like to be liked too, and they like the people who know about them and are zestful about them. So um, there's, there's a saying, there's so little traffic on the extra mile. Um, the people who prepare are part of that small amount of, of traffic on the extra mile. And it, if you're on that extra mile, um, you will stand out. Thank you so much. That's great advice. I really appreciate your time this morning. And um, yeah, thanks. Thank you for having me.